Take back your bribe and promise you'll be true. Give me the love, the love that you deny me. Make me your wife, that's all I ask of you. He drew her close unto him, and to soothe her then he tried. But she in pride and sorrow turned away. And as he sought to comfort her, she wept and softly cried. You'll rue your cruel actions, Jack, someday. Now, little one, don't cry, he said, for though tonight we part, and though another soon will be me bride, eh, 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 this gold will help you to forget. But with a breaking heart, she scorned his gift and bitterly replied. Take back your gold, you can never buy me. Take back your bribe, I promise you be true. Give me the love, the love that you deny me. Make me your wife, that's all I ask of you. Take it back, take it back, Jack. For gold can never buy me. Take it back, take it back, take it back. I promise you be true. Give me the love that you deny me. Don't falter, it's gonna lead to the altar. So take it back, take it back, take it back, Jack. Johnny Kisco coming over there. Now, with a little help from you gals, I might be able to talk him into leaving his barroom fixtures here and taking you folks back instead. Barroom fixtures? Well, yeah. Why, my daughter led me to believe they were objects d'art for some gentleman's club. <laughs> well, it's kind of a club, but naturally there's a bar. We'd be very grateful, Joe, if you could. Ha! <laughs> Don't mention it. Only too glad to be a servant. After all, it isn't every day that I draw a full house with red-headed queens. Ha-ha! <laughs> Uh, that's a poker term. Poker? Oh, we don't play poker. Oh, uh, I suppose not. Well, don't forget, girls. Smile it up, give them the works, okay? Works? Works? What is he talking about? Seen 
anything of a third-rate song and dance man around here answering to the name of Joe Keenan? The one, the only Spats Keenan in person. Snappy songs, peppy patter, and quippy quotes, soft shoes specialist direct <laughs> from a sensational triumphal tour of the Oklahoma Chautauqua Circuit. I bet you haven't changed a step since we did the act together. Why change? Just get a new audience, I say. Listen, don't worry about me pleasing your customers, Johnny. I'll knock them dead. Yeah, if you don't, you'll be dead. We've got a way of shooting acts we don't like up in the Klondike. Bye. Come here. Did you bring all the stuff I ordered? Well, just about, but I had to get Diane at the bath here instead of Salome. Hey, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Dressed a little thin for our Klondike winters, but I think we'll warm her up, huh? <laughs> good boy. Now, what about the lobsters? Well, got a dozen of the finest right here, packed in ice. Oh, good boy, good boy. I promised the girls a treat when I get back. You grab some warm duds and we'll be on our way, huh? We've uh, got ten days of hard travel ahead of us. Sure, sure, Johnny, but uh, first I'd like you to meet some friends of mine, okay? No, oh, I... Very nice. Smile! Help me break the ice. Come on, kids. Let's get in the work. Nellie, smile. Very nice. They'll decorate the club real fine. Mm -hmm. How much will I have to pay them? Oh, no, Johnny, not so fast. They aren't entertainers. Just nice kids. Come on, I'll no, introduce them. They're not you. entertainers. There's no percentage. Forget oh. it. Come on, you guys, load up. But have a heart, Johnny. You can't just leave them sitting there. Why not? They're not my responsibility. Oh, but they're nice people. Their old man runs a newspaper in Dawson. No, oh, they're nice people. What'd you say? I said their old man runs a newspaper in Dawson. His name's Edmonds? Yeah, friend of yours. Anything but. He spends most of his time trying to run me out of business. Ah, <laughs> good. That'll give me a clear field. Not when he finds out that you worked for me, providing he's still alive. I don't get you. I had a fellow named Mike Yerko running the club for me. He had a prison record. Old man Edmonds threatened to expose him. So Yerko took a shot at him to shut him up. He was in pretty bad shape when I left. But that's all the more reason why you should take him, John. You've got to tell him. After all, this guy Yerko was working for you, and you're responsible in a way. We can send back for this stuff later. Yeah, maybe you've got something there. All right, but I'm taking Diane and the lobsters with me. And you'll tell them about the old man? Yeah, when the right time comes. Fair enough. We'll tell them the good news now and the bad later, okay? Come on. Right. Mrs. Edmonds? Yeah? I'd like you to meet my pal Johnny Kisco here. He's the owner of the Klondike Club, and he's offered to take you folks up to Dawson. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Kisco. Mr. Kisco, yes. We had visions of sitting here until the spring thaw. Hello. I'm Catherine. And this is my sister Patricia and Constance. How do you do? I'm Nellie. Are you and Edmonds too? We're not sure in spite of what Mother says. Patricia. <laughs> I hope Mr. Keenan spends as much time telling you about us as he did telling us about you. Patricia. Of course, it's only a 10-day trip to Dawson, but if Joe talks real fast, he'll be able to give you...